Prime Minister Andrew Holness says his administration is making significant strides in ensuring that the Jamaican labor force has adequate skilled workers. This is due to the work and investment in the transformation of the island's education system to produce competent Jamaicans. The Prime Minister says uh, the reconstructing exercise currently in train at the Hart NSTA Trust is also aimed at bringing skilled labor into the market. We recognize that Hart has to be a seamless entity that takes a person, even if they are illiterate, and bring them up to the level of literacy where they can gain knowledge. And then from knowledge to skills. And in parallel with knowledge and skills, we build attitude. And that's what we're trying to do now. Very shortly, we, should, we have completed the process of finding a uh, managing director for Heart. And we, once we have that in place, uh, then we're going to ramp up our activities to ensure that we can rapidly bring to market the skills aligned to the needs of the private sector. Mr. Holness made the remarks as he opened ITEL BPO's latest complex at Chalmers Avenue in Kingston. This 90,000 square foot complex is a 7 million US dollar investment in the BPO sector. ITEL BPO has 6,000 employees across three offices on the island. Mr. Holness says that there are elements of the Jamaican culture that continues to hold the country and its people back as it's the growth of the private sector to drive the growth of the country. There is nothing wrong with doing well in business. There is nothing wrong in making a profit. We must not despise entrepreneurs. We must build them we must appreciate them, we must encourage them. We want more entrepreneurs like yourself. Because Jamaica will only grow when our businesses grow. For a long time, the culture and thought of the average Jamaican is that Jamaica will only grow when the government does well or when the government grows. He explains the government's role in the world of business. The role of government in all of this is to make it easier for businesses to grow. That's the role of government. So we need a strong partnership between government and the private sector. The company is celebrating 10 years of existence this year, and the chairman and CEO of ITEL, Yoni Epstein, shared that his company is making CARICOM a reality, explaining the company is once again looking to expand within the region. We are very proud to be the largest BPO to ever be born out of Jamaica. And we're not only proud by being that, we're proud because, as it was said earlier by Gore, we're making CARICOM come to life. You know, we're operating in nine different countries today. Four of those are of the 15 CARICOM nations. And we have our sights on a fifth uh, that we will mention soon and a couple others thereafter. And the belief as to why we have expanded ourselves outside of Jamaica is not not only because of expanding our opportunities and our geodiversity, it is, it is knowing that our clients want English. And why, why not go to the English-speaking Caribbean? Why not go into countries where you can partner with the governments and you can partner with the, the people of the nation to, to provide a better service, to provide jobs and opportunities for people of, of small nations?